definitely something that we have been following closely. I know Joseph has been involved in that, and uh, you know we're we're seeing a great climate today. That's for sure. Yeah, we are. The weather today is just marvelous. But yeah, check out those podcasts. They've put a lot of work in Kelly and Ian, our coworkers, and uh, you'll learn something. So just put a little time into it, and you'll really enjoy those podcast there. Okay, this weekend is kind of those 60-40 weekends. We have a beautiful day today, a lot of sunshine. We're going to start tomorrow off here in the valley with some sunshine. Then we got the 40% of the weekend where it's going to be a bit cloudy and probably a bit rainy for some folks. See the rain chances do increase on Sunday and Monday, but it's going to take some time to arrive here in the valley for our Sunday. And then we're on and off with those rain showers Monday and Tuesday. We have a dry day Wednesday, maybe a couple spotty showers on Thursday. So we are finally starting to see things kind of go up and down uh, some of that fall roller coaster now, we'll call it, as we head into late September. All right, here's our disturbance just off towards the west, right in front of the stronger front, which will arrive as we go through tomorrow. We do have some clouds and maybe some very light rain. That's moving to the northeast. Not expecting any moisture tonight for us here in the valley, but the Oregon coast may get some drops as we head into the evening hours and into the late hours. You'll notice that the clouds right here are low clouds. Those are kind of banked into areas of the Oregon coast. Our Lincoln City camera was just straight gray. And notice that there's some moisture and some higher clouds moving in aloft. Again, that's in front of our stronger cold front, which will arrive tomorrow. And that's going to bring in some steady rain and maybe a couple thunderstorms for the Oregon coast. Here's Portland right now. You can see the West Hills bright above those hills, Stoller right, Winery, light, love the shot right there, nice and bright. Kalama, some thin clouds starting to move in aloft, and then we have Lincoln City here I mentioned, where they're actually taking some photos, I think, for a wedding or something similar to that. I saw them out there uh, not too long ago. Not the sunniest day for that, but you'll definitely remember those photos. There's no doubt about that. All right, future cast. We have the clouds overnight. Again, there's some patchy moisture through the morning hours. Uh, the wind starts to increase at this point in time. Here's 7 a.m. The front isn't quite here. We'll have to see about the timing on that, but I do believe it will probably approach us about that point of time. Heavier showers as we head into the afternoon and definitely by the evening hours before they pass right into the valley and then another round right behind it. By Monday morning, it's not as organized, but we will have that scattered threat for some shower activity as we go through Monday morning. Here's 10 a.m. And at this point of time, it's going to be kind of hit or miss. And then by Tuesday, we start kind of falling apart and uh, we'll probably lose some of that moisture here in the valley, but I can't rule out the rain for the coast and the Cascades. So Tuesday, I do believe we'll have some showers, but I think the wettest points of the state are going to be in the higher elevations where they get a little bit of lift. All right, by Tuesday night, it starts falling apart. You see that ribbon of moisture moving on in. There it goes. And it arrives right here as we go into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, evening hours. Again, the first part of the day tomorrow, not nearly as bad. It's going to be after lunchtime where we really start to see that kick into action. All right, rain total forecast. It's going to push us to about a quarter of an inch to maybe even upwards to a half an inch. Here's Monday at 530, so it has us about four tenths of an inch. Decent soaking, we'll take it as we're getting close to wrapping up the water year here. That's at the end of September. All right, seven day forecast, 63 on Monday. There's 61 on Tuesday, maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm. And I think that goes for Monday as well. 65 on Wednesday, spotty shower Thursday, and then Lower 70s to mid 70s by the weekend. So the weekend looks nice, Wayne. All right. Sounds good, Joseph. Uh, let's. Uh